In this video, you will learn how to graph two data sets on the same graph with Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have generated this scatter plot using multiple data sets. Purple lines display the values of data series 1 and red line shows the data series 2 values. In addition, you will also learn how to insert regression equation and R square value on scatter plot. This graph is very dynamic. If you made any change in these values, then this change will be reflected in your graph. For example, I will change this value to 247 instead of 147. Press enter. Now you can see here the values is changed now. And this change is reflected in the regression equation as well as R square value. I will change it back. Now you can see here this value as well as regression equation and R square values are changed. So let's learn how to graph two data sets on the same graph in Microsoft Excel. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will select this data. Go to Insert tab. And under Chart, you will find the option of Scatter Chart. Click here and select first one. Now select this graph. Here you will find the option of plus sign which is the chart element option. Click on it. You will find multiple option. I want to insert axis title so I will select this option. Chart title is already selected. Similarly, I don't want these grid lines so I will deselect this option. If you want to insert legend, you can select this option. Now again select this graph, go to chart design option and here you will find the option of quick layout. You can choose quick layout using these options. Here is the option of change color. You can use the default color of Microsoft Excel. In addition, you will also learn how to choose the color of your choice according to your requirement. Now select the title. Click on formula bar and write your title here. Press enter. Go to home tab and format it according to your requirement. I will change its size. Similarly select this one. It displays the values of absorbance. Put equal sign in formula bar and select the cell which contain value. Press enter. Similarly select x axis title. Put equal sign in formula bar. Select the cell which contain value and press enter. Now again select this one to format it according to your requirement. I will change it color to black, gold and size will be adjusted to 11. Now again select this one and copy the format using format printer option. Double click on it and apply this format on here. You can see here I have formatted x axis values, y axis values as well as legend. So I will again click on it to deselect this option. Now you will learn how to add another data series on this graph. Select this graph. Go to chart design option. And here you will find the option of select data. There is another way to do that. Click on this chart area or plot area. Right click. And here you will find the option of select data. You can use any option. Either this one or using this option. I will choose select data. Currently you can see here only one data set is displayed here. So our graph show only one data set. Firstly I will edit this one. Click on absorbance. And here is the option of edit. Click on it. And I will change the series name. Because currently the series name is absorbance, I will delete the existing data. 
and select the cell which contain the original values data series 1 select this one and press ok now you will learn how to add data series 2 click on this add button series name select the cell which contain the name of that data series data series 2 click on x axis values if you have existing data remove that one and select x axis values similarly click on y axis values and remove the existing data select y axis values after doing that click on ok and again on ok now you can see here we have successfully displayed the two data sets on the same graph in microsoft excel now click on this y axis values right click go to format axis option and here you will find the option of fill and line from here go to line option and from here i will choose solid line scroll down choose the color of line i will choose black and here is the width of this line i will choose 1.5 pt now go to axis option here is the option of tick marks i want to display the tick marks on outside major type outside minor type outside here is the option of number click on this option scroll down from category i will choose number and from decimal place i will choose 1 you can follow similar procedure for x axis as well select this one go to fill and line option from here i will choose black color 1.5 pt go to axis option and from here i will choose tick marks on outside and outside now i will close this one now you will learn how to add trend line click on any marker now you can see here one data series is selected because only red circles are selected and the blue circles are not selected the red circle shows the data series to place your cursor on this marker and right click here you will find the option of add trend line click on this option you will find different option you can use trend line option either exponential linear logarithmic polynomial power or moving average i have selected linear scroll down here you will find the option of display equation on chart select this one Similarly, if you are interested to display R square value, you can select this option. You can follow similar procedure for second data set. Click on any marker. Place your cursor on it. Right click. Add thread line. Linear. And from here, I will check display equation on chart and display R square value. Close this one. If you are interested to edit the legend, you can easily do that. Click on it and again click on it. Press backscape to delete this one. Similarly, again select this one and again click on it or double click on it. Press backscape to delete this one. Again select this one, place your cursor on this line and move it according to your desired location. Again, click on this plot area and using these handles, you can easily resize it. Similarly, click on it. Place your cursor on this line and you can move it according to your requirement. Now, you will learn how to format the trend line. Click on this trend line. Right click. Go to format trend line option and go to fill and line option 
from here you will find the option of line select solder line and you can choose the color of this line using this option i will choose this one you can adjust the width of this line here is the option of dash type you can select dash type of this line you can follow similar procedure for remaining data set select this one go to fill and line option select solder line and from here you can choose the color as well as width according to your requirement If you want to remove this trend line you can easily do that click on it go to chart element option and from here deselect trend line similarly select this one and from here deselect trend line if you want to edit the marker click on any marker right click go to format data series option go to fill and line option from here you will find the option of marker select marker option select build in type of marker and size of marker similarly you can adjust the color of this marker using this option select solid fill choose the color of marker and if i scroll down you can insert border around this marker i will select no line you can follow similar procedure for remaining data set so by following this video you can easily graph two data sets on the same graph in microsoft excel that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye